Hi guys, today we will talk about the Cricut Foil Transfer Kit. We will go over how to use it and make a project with it. It comes in a cute package. Cricut always has the best packaging. I honestly keep all their boxes. The Foil Transfer Tool is a pressure activated tool that gives you pro level polished foiling results. So let's open the box. Once we open the box, we have the Let's Get Started Instructions leaflet, the foil transfer sheets, one foil transfer tool housing, and the three transfer tips, which are fine, medium, and bold. There are 12 foil transfer sheets, which are four by six inches, six gold, and six silver. There is also sheets of tape so that you can adhere the foil to your mat. Let's take a closer look at the housing and the tips. So each tip has a line to indicate the thickness of the tip. So one line is for a fine tip, two lines for medium, and three lines is for the bold tip. Changing the tip is just like any other housing from Cricut. You just press the plunger and it snaps right in. To remove it, you just press again and pull. I store all my blades and other tools in the Cricut compartment. There's also a magnetic strip where you can place your individual blades and tips in case you did not know that. Now let's jump into design space to start our little project. All right, so once you're in design space, let's click on new project and let's create some gift tags. Click on image and let's search gift tags. I'm looking for a birthday gift tag, so I'm going to choose this. Let's see what else. This looks cute. And this one. Okay, let's go ahead and click insert image. Okay, now we have three gift tags. I'm going to resize mine to about three inches tall. So You click up here in the height so that you get the height that you want. There we go. Okay. Over here it says pen. This means that the machine is going to write happy B-Day. So I don't want my machine to write it, I want it to foil. So we're going to come up here to operation and choose foil. We're going to make each one of them a different tip. So this one we're going to do, I think we're going to do the medium one for this. And this one I want the fine tip. Just let me, yes organize them better and for the third one we will go ahead and do the bolt tip there we go okay now hit make it put them both in different mats that's because it was a different color so what we're going to do is I'm just going to move the object 
because I'm gonna have them all done in one color paper, so it doesn't matter. Here we go. Okay, now notice here it says fine foil, medium foil, bold foil, and basic cut. So it's telling you what the machine is going to be doing. It's going to prompt me also to change the tips every time it comes to the different tip size. So let's hit continue. And I'm going to be using medium cardstock, so I'm clicking on that. And note here, it's telling me to load foil transfer tool, find tip into the clamp B. Now I'm just going to take you to the machine and let's foil some tags. Okay, now let's set our material and the foil. So I'm using plain cardstock, it's medium weight. There we go. Now, I'm going to use silver and gold and I know exactly where my tags are so one of them is right before the four inch mark and the others are on top here so make sure you never ever by mistake put this side of the foil to the mat because it's going to stick and it will not come out. Make sure not to cover any part of the design with the tape because it will not transfer. There, now let's go to the machine. Okay, so I've loaded my fine tip and now we're going to just Get it started. And we hit the cricket button. Now this step is very important. After it prompted me to change the first and second tip, and the third one. Now for, for the cut, it's going to ask to load the fine point blade. And very important, do not unload the mat because if you do, it's just not going to cut precisely where it's supposed to be. So it, the machine will unload the mat for you slightly and then you remove all the foil, put your point, fine point blade and start cutting. Okay, the project is cut and foiled. So I'm going to try to get them out with the spatula and I'll show you up close in a bit. It's a very handy tool because small pieces like this, you cannot just flip them up and roll it to get the paper out. You can do it to give it a start. There we go. Gorgeous. There. So this was the fine tip, the silver one. Can you see the reflection? It's beautiful. This was the medium tip. And this was the bowl tip. I love, love the bowl tip. Honestly, my favorite is the fine tip and the bold one. Intricate designs use the fine tip. I hope you guys like this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay crafty.